Hi guys, I'm John Carlo from Torches International and today I'm going to do a review for this PyTorch MR26. Check this out! So now let's proceed to unboxing this PyTorch MR26. As you can see, it comes in a black and orange retail packaging. And as you can see here, it's a triple tail switches and rechargeable tactical LED flashlight. It has four different filters and also a triple tail clicky. It's a max of 1,800 lumens with a max beam distance of 302 meters. And pardon the noise outside as there are motorcycles running around. So the side of the box you can see the four different filters. And at the back side you can see some quick features as well as the quick specs. And again some details. Okay, now let's proceed to opening up the box. Okay. Okay, we have the MR26 light. And let's put that aside. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have the user manual. Of course, the holster. which has and inside you can see the micro USB cable and the lanyard we have a spare o-ring and the four filters which is red blue green and orange let's put that aside now let's check out the light as you can see it's very well machined from head to tail So you can see there is a stainless steel strike bezel and a deep smooth polished reflector. You can see the LED perfectly centered. Okay. We have ample cooling ribs for maximum heat dissipation. And okay, let's uh, check out this strike bezel. We can remove this and try to put on the filter let's go for the orange one and then close it up clockwise so that's how it looks like okay all right so going uh, here in the head, you can see the micro USB charging dock. Okay, I won't open that as it's quite hard. <laughs> Let me do this instead. Okay, there you go. This is the problem with people with large fingers. hang on real quick okay so I'm back it's a good minute or two before I, before I was able to remove this rubber cover very secured for water intrusion so you can see the micro USB charging dock now I'm going to close it up and there is a LED indicator light here for remaining battery okay and we have this uh, black stainless steel clip and the brand opposite side is the model let's open it up check out the batteries and the batteries in there quite tight as well remove the plastic uh, protect protection <laughs> we have a 2600 milliampere per hour 18650 battery it's a flat top as you can see there the threads are not anodized but you can see the o-ring is uh, pretty much well lubricated this is the tail cover let's put it back in okay let's go to the tail first uh, the knurling is same as the barrel as you can see there now the triple tail switch we have the main switch and two paddle switches for ambidextrous um, placement 
you can either hold it like that for right-handed people or like this for left-handed and the very unique design of this rotary mechanical lock which as you can see there there is the lock uh, I mean the unlock and if you turn it to the right that's the lock or to the left which is the lock for the paddle switches so you you won't be able to lock uh, change modes if it's in the lock position so to operate the light either if it's locked or unlocked it will turn on this is just for the paddle switches and this light has no memory function when you turn it on it automatically goes to turbo of course to change modes you have to just click on the paddle switches as you can see there Okay, there is also momentary strobe when you click on the pedal switch and you can see here the LED battery indicator this light fits very well in hand it's very um, very good and also well built very good machining from end to end as you can see so let's try and put on a filter while turning it on this time let's go for the blue one okay let's turn it on wow okay and you can turn on strobe with the filter on okay so that's it let's go outside and do some beam shots Hi guys, so we're here outside to do some night shots of this Fight Torch MR26. Right now, this is on eco mode at 5 lumens. You can see the bushes in front of me, which is about 10 feet away. Now, let's ramp up to low. You can uh, see it better now. This is at 100 lumens. You can barely see the tree, which is about 100 feet away. Now let's ramp up to medium. Okay, now that's uh, 300 lumens. You can barely see the yard across, the farm across me. And this tree right here is about 150 feet away. Okay, now let's ramp up to high. This is 800 lumens now. The tree over there is about 200 feet from where I'm standing. There is some uh, good flood on this light as well as throw, as you can see there. Okay, now let's jump up to turbo. Oops, sorry. Hang on. Okay, there. There's turbo. This is 1,800 lumens. And the farther tree over there is about 400 feet away. Well, this thing can throw pretty much and I can clearly see it over there it has a cool white tint you can clearly see the whole yard now pardon the noise as it's only about 8 p.m. right now and people are still awake <laughs> well this is uh, amply bright for 1800 lumens Again, this is the Fight Torch MR26. Okay, so how about let's put on some filters. Uh, let me get back and put some filters. Hang on a bit. Okay, now we have the blue filter attached. This one's on turbo. Again, this tree is about 150 feet from where I'm standing. Alright. Okay. Now let me go on and put on another filter. Hang on a bit. Okay guys, so now this is the red filter on. On turbo. 
Okay, I'm not sure if you can see the puppy right there, but I can see the eyes glowing. This filter is perfect for hunting, of course. Okay, this is amply bright for a red light. Okay, hang on, let me put on another filter again. Okay guys, this is the green filter right here. Of course, this is on turbo. Very good for map reading as it's uh, very bright for the green light. There you go. To the eye, I can clearly see the field in front of me. However, I think the camera doesn't do justice. Okay, there we go for the green light. I mean green filter. Okay, hang on. Let me put the last filter. Okay, guys. So this is the last and fourth filter. This is a orange or yellow filter, which I can clearly see the field right now. And the tree, of course. Applying or using this filter makes this light very uh, dynamic in a sense that it's like you're having a 3K or 4K temperature light, depending on your taste. There. Of course, this is on turbo. Okay, so that's it for the filters. Okay, and finally, again, this is on turbo, 1800 lumens, and let's just cycle through the light real quick okay so from turbo uh, one click okay that's high medium low and eco okay strobe warning okay that's strobe this light doesn't have beacon and sos function so just turbo and the modes okay so that's it for the night shots of this fire torch MR26 So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of the Fight Torch MR26. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel. Always remember, two is one, one is none. Light on brothers.